Ayan. So, hello once again to our first year. So, this is already week 17. Okay? So, just like what I have been doing, yung week bago mag-exam, hindi na ako nagkaklase. So, hindi ko na kayo imimit unless uh, for certain consultations or kung ano man. No? But definitely, no special project. Okay, again, week 17 is the week before your final exam. So, I hope that you are watching this. Okay? Uh, the contents of this video will be on the answers to your two quizzes. Dalawa lang yung naging quiz natin. Relations and functions and combinatorics. Now, yung dalawang yun lang ang aking uh, i-include sa final exam. Now, I know we still have some topics that were not discussed, but I will gi be giving them after the final. Of course, that would no longer be recorded or whatsoever dahil nga sa kakulangan natin sa time. No? But I again, I will be giving it after the exam para hindi kayo malito, baka isipin ninyo kasama sa exam natin. So, hindi na, since hindi ko naman na ituro. Okay? So, I'll just be giving extra references or resources so you can read it, you can watch it. No? So, hindi po kita tapos na ang ating semester, eh, di nyo napapanoorin or di nyo nababasahin because you might still be able to use them in your future uh dito in your future years so you are all incoming second years already okay so congratulations yan so let's discuss the correct answers sa ating quiz 1 sa final okay but take note of the instructions nilalagay ko to lagi ako naglalagay ng specific instructions diba so meron na ako dito english and tagalog version please read the instructions and choices carefully you need to select all the correct answers per question to get a point. In Tagalog, mag, maingat na basahin ang mga tanong at pamimilian. Kailangan piliin lahat ng tamang sagot kada tanong para makapuntos. Okay? So, some of the questions here have two answers, three answers, or four answers. Or, or all of them. No? So, dapat lahat sinikan ninyo kung lahat ay sagot. Kung dalawa yung sagot, dapat dalawa yung chineka ninyo. Okay? So, let's take a look at the first one. This is your lesson on Cartesian product. Remember, kung ano yung unang letter sa ordered pairs, they belong to the first set. Kagaya sa A, we have A equals, ano ba yung mga first letter natin sa ordered pair? We have X. X, X, but we don't have to rewrite them uh, anymore. Pareho lang naman yan. We have Y, Y, Y. We have Z, Z, Z. So, isang beses lang natin sinusulat, no? Sa B naman, okay, for set B, those would be the second letters or the second elements sa ordered pair. We have A, B, E. A, B, E. A, B, E. Since inulit lang naman, so yan na din yun. The answers would be A equals X, Y, Z, and B is A, B, E. No other answers but these two. Hindi po pwede ito dahil, again, our rule, the first uh, element in the ordered pair belong to set A. The second belong to set B. Okay? Next. So, I have two sets. Set E contains lugaw and burger and set F contains water, coke, milk, tea, and coffee. Now, what is F times E? Now, take note that there is a certain symbol. Meron siyang dalawang bar. Okay? And if meron siyang dalawang bar, it is asking for the cardinality. Okay? Okay? And madali lang naman ang ating cardinality. Simply to get the cardinality or to know how many, okay? To know how many there are, pag pinagsama mo ang F times E, pag multiply mo lang ang F saka E. Since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, meron tayong 4 sa F, meron tayong 2 sa E, so 2 times 4 is 8. No other answers. 
Kahit pa E times F yun, pareho lang din yan. Okay, next. If uh, the cardinality of C is 9 and D is A, F, B, F, G, what is C times D? Okay, so ang kailangan natin dito is yung mga ordered pair, di ba? Yung kagaya sa first question natin. Okay, yung mga ordered pair. Uh, so we have D. Alam natin ang elements ni D, but we don't know the elements of C. So, this is cannot be determined. Okay? Hindi naman ako humihingi dito ng cardinality since wala siyang dalawang bar. No? Okay? So, the answer here is cannot be determined because you don't know what the elements of C are. Okay? Next. Ayan. Uh, may mga nalito dito, no? Okay? But then, let's take a look at the options later. Again, sabi natin, the domain contains the set of all the first elements sa ating uh, relation. So, ang domain natin ay X, Y, and Z. Ang range natin ay A, B, yun lang, A, B lang. Okay, again, our domain... Our domain is X, Y, Z. Parang wala dito ah. So, wala. Ang range natin ay A, B. So, since wala naman dito yung sagot, the answer should be none of the above. Okay? Kaya nga, ito ay may label na D and ito ay merong label na R. Okay? Okay, next. Give the inverse relation of X, A, X, B, Y, A, Y, B, Z, A, Z, B. Okay, remember, sa inverse, babalik na rin lang natin. So, hanapin natin ang A, X. Ito, automatic, wala na. Okay, so A, X, hindi ito. Okay, binaliktad niya yung order, pero ang babalik na rin ay per ordered pair. A, X, andito. X, B, B, X. So, Y, A, magiging A, Y. YB magiging BY, ZA magiging AZ, ZB magiging BZ. So, this is the correct answer. Okay, no other answer, no? Kasi given naman siya dito eh. Yeah, next. Ayan. So, this is an example of a matrix. Naka-table form siya. Okay? Uh, again, if meron siyang label na 1, ibig sabihin it is present. Okay, kung wala, edi kung zero, so it's not present. So, which of the following belongs to the relation seen in the matrix? Okay, so limited lang options natin, lilima. Tingnan natin isa-isa, no? We have one, so, we have one O. Ito yun, one O. We have two M. We have 3N. Wala namang 3N. So, we don't really have to check or anything. Wala naman ako nilagay dito na others. So, since wala, edi, okay lang. Let's leave it be. And we have 4O. Yan. Ito lang po ang ating answer. Okay? Uh, since 3 one ito, hindi ito typographical error. Talaga 3 one yan. But we will not be checking this. Kasi, hindi naman siya 3N. Yan, pampalit sa talaga yon Okay? Next. Find the relation of the graph. Okay, so this is an example of a directed graph. Meron siyang direction. So, yung unang letter papunta sa kanyang range. Okay? So, A, B. Ito, merong A, B. Ito, automatic hindi na. Remember, pagka-relation, may ordered pairs. Okay. Since it used big letters, edi big letters ang gamitin natin. Okay, meron tayo A, B. Next is we have B, C. So, meron B, C. Siguro nagkamali lang dito ng comma dapat yan. B, C. Ito, wala na agad. Wala kasi yung B, C. Next, C, D. So, may C, D. Nagkamali lang. Naging uh, 
period. Uh, what else? Ito ay hindi DE. This is ED. Okay? Because of the arrow. So, ED. FE and AF. So, which of these do we choose? Ang pipiliin natin ay yung option number 1. Dahil uh, sa kanyang direction. Okay? We only use this ABBA pagka undirected graph yan. Kung linya lang. Or kung merong arrow both sides. Okay? But since wala naman tayong BA from B to A, wala naman tayong F to A, so this is not the answer. Okay? Again, sa so directed graph, the direction matters. Pang ilang question. Ayan. Select all that apply. Ito yung medyo mahirap pero isa lang ang binigay kong tanong. Uh, remember sa ating properties, we have reflexive. Remember sa reflexive, each element ay may kabaliktaran. Okay? Sa symmetric, each ordered pair ay merong kasymmetric. Meron siyang ka-mirror. Okay? Ah, wait. Again, ang reflexive, sorry, the better term for reflexive ay meron siyang... Uh, Tawag dito, meron siyang ordered pair na magkapareho. For example, A, A, B, B, C, C, 1, 1, 2, 2. Okay, reflexive ito. Ang symmetric naman ay merong kabaliktaran. For example, ay X, Y, meron siyang kabaliktaran na Y, X. Ang 2, 2 ay merong kabaliktaran na 2, 2 din. Okay. Ang transitive, uh, remember, ang pattern niya is A, B, B, C, A, C. Kung baga, uh, nagiging related pareho. Okay? A, B, B, C, A, C. Okay, pagkapareho yung gitna. No? Uh, ang ating equivalence, if all these three, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive siya, and anti-symmetric siya pagka halimbawa, uh, meron tayong symmetric na makikita. Okay? And, uh, kunyari, 2, 1, 1, 2. Tapos, uh, alam naman natin that 2 is not equal to 1. So, this is anti-symmetric. Okay? So, let's take a look. 1, 1. This is automatically reflexive. Symmetric din naman siya. At the same time, this is also transitive. Kasi 1, 1. Ulitin lang natin. 1, 1. What will we add to make it transitive? So, kunin lang natin yung dalawang dulo. 1, 1. So, transitive siya. And since uh, check siya sa so reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, uh, this is equivalent. Question is, anti-symmetric ba siya? No, it's not anti-symmetric kasi 1 equals 1. Diba? Okay, sige. Next. Ayan, sige. Continue ko lang. Naipost ko pala. Okay, sige. Next. Uh, we have this one. Nagkamali pala ako nang nilagay na answer key dito. So, again, this is anti-symmetric. Okay? Ayan. Next. So... We have here uh, set G. Okay? We have A, B, C, E, G, H, I, L, N, O, P, R, T, U, Y. Okay, medyo marami namin kulang. Uh, so, which subsets will make will complete its partition? Now, when we say partition, diba, kailangan natin hati-hatiin ito. Walang magkakapareho, walang mauulit. Okay? Walang FP. Okay? So, Kung ginamit ko ang NU, ayan, okay na. Try kong gamitin ang NU. Try kong gamitin ang C, O, P, Y. Try kong gamitin ang G, H, I, R, T. Okay, so kung ginamit ko itong mga to, ano na lang ang aking kulang? So, I have A, B, E, L. Yan. So, ito ay hindi kasali. Okay? 
So these four sets make up the partition. Okay? Bakit hindi pwede itong A? Uh, itong APRTY? Kasi pag ginamit natin ito, hindi ito pwede. Kasi parehong may A. Hindi pwede kasi pareho, magkakaparehong may P. Magkakaparehong may R. Magkakaparehong may P. And magkakaparehong may Y. No? So again, hindi pwedeng may maulit because when we say partition, it's hati and or para siyang grouping. So walang pwedeng magkadoble ng group. Okay? Uh, next, ilang questions ba to? Parang patapos na. Sa quiz 1. So next is find X. So that the ordered pair 3x1 equals x plus 14, 1. So simply, since equal naman itong dalwa, e pagpantay lang natin or pag equal lang natin ang 3x saka x plus 14. Okay? So some of you would transpose this. So 3x minus x equals 14. This will be 2x equals 14. And divide both sides by 2, x equals 7. So, since the answers are not here, your answer should be 7. Okay? So, yeah, I'll pause this video for a moment and then I will be checking the answers. Ayan. So, I just resumed recording and I have just checked manually the answers, no? So, sadly, maraming nagkamali dito sa question na ito. But remember, uh, napaka-importante na balikan ninyo yung previous lessons ninyo. Or kung sakali man na ang mindset ninyo, eh, di ko muna sinseryosohin. Sinseryosohin ko na ito sa fourth year. I hope that you are now realizing na sana nakinig ako sa teacher ko nung nasa high school and elementary ako. No? Okay, bago pa maging fully ang lahat. Okay, because uh, all things that you are learning now, Okay, all the things that you have actually learned are things that you would be needing in the future. Okay, so please take your learning seriously kahit palibra ang inyong pag-aaral, seryosohin niyo ito. Okay, yan. Okay, next na tayo. Uh, this is quite easy. How many paths of length 1 are in this graph? So, length 1, bilangin lang natin isa-isa yung mga length 1. Or, bilangin lang natin yung kanilang mga uh, arrow. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so there are 15 paths of length 1 in this graph. Ayan, 15. Okay. Next, and erase ko lang ito. Find the cycle with the shortest path. Okay? So, since may choices naman tayo, no? Ayan. Again, find the cycle with the shortest path. Tingnan natin kung meron bang AA dito. So, wala naman siyang AA. So, this is not considered. Okay, A, E, F, A. Tingnan natin. A, E. Okay. Going to E pa lang, wala na, no? So, hindi pwede to. Okay? Next, I have D, C. Going to C pa lang, wala na agad. So, not included as well. What about C, A, B, C? C, a, B, C. Ayan. So, pwede ang C, A, B, C. We have any other choices here? E, E. Okay, wala naman tayong E, E. So, the answer is C, A, B, C. Ayan. So, uh, last one. You know, I like to make things light. Okay, so there's a list of 29 loyal married couples. Which words would describe this relation? Okay? Kaya nga meron siyang word na loyal eh. Ano? So, what do you think? Hindi siya pwedeng uh, many to one or one to many. Okay? Definitely. 
so what would be the answer so this is an example of a relation that is one to one tama ba kung ganun kung loyal na one to one iyon okay or that is injective okay is it bijective and when we say bijective uh exactly one element okay para siyang one is to one pero lahat ay meron so check okay next is surjective or onto at least one element well lahat naman sila nakamap to at least one element okay so yes this is also a function okay so wala naman dito tayong many to one so this is correct now if you check these two okay lang no problem with me i will be checking your answers okay so let me just check uh, i'll be pausing this video for a moment now, kayo then you can take your break or you can uh, write down the notes or review this again so that you can perform better on the exam. Okay? Ayan. So, let's proceed to our next quiz, which is quiz on combinatorics and probability. Now, again, I have mentioned in the instructions to please read the questions and choices carefully. You need to select all the correct answers per question to get a point. In Tagalog, maingat na basahin ang mga tanong at pamimilian. Kailangan piliin lahat ng tamang sagot kada tanong para makapunto. Okay? So, let's have the first one. Napalaki yung picture. No? But yan. How many lock combinations are there if I were to use this padlock in the image? Okay? So, as you can see naman, this goes from 0 to 9. Okay? So, meron tayong sampung pamimilian sa ating first uh, dial. Ganon din naman sa second dial, sampo. At ganon din sa third dial, sampo. Okay? So, remember, uh, what we use often is the product rule principle. Bakit natin nalang product rule principle? Because it's a bunch of combinations ng uh, padlock. Okay? So, ang ginagawa natin ay meron tayong sampung choices sa una, times sampung choices sa pangalwa, at sampung choices sa pangatlo. Okay? In these kinds of locks, pwedeng maulit ang number. At the same time, I did not mention na bawal na, ma bawal na mag-ulit. Hindi ko naman sinabing ganun, di ba? So, this would be 10 times 10 times 10, or the answer is 1,000. Okay? So, there are 1,000 possible combinations to this lock. Okay? Ayan. Ako, may kwento ang ating maritek. I noticed that my husband is always on the phone with someone. Patunay ba to? <laughs> Where, here's my opportunity to see who he has been calling every night to confirm my suspicion. Now, what is my chance of unlocking my husband's iPhone if I can only have one try? So, isang beses lang ako pwedeng mag-try or else uh, lock na ang phone ni Mr. <laughs> okay? So, again, I did not mention na bawal mag-ulit. So, pwede tayong mag ng numbers. And as you can see, there are four digits in the pin code. So, let's have four blanks. And again, we have ten digits. So, ten digits times ten times 10, times 10. The answer here is 10,000. There are 10,000 possible PIN codes. Now, since I only have one try, at isa lang naman ang tama, yan, excuse me, again, since isa lang ang ating uh, correct answer, isa lang naman ang PIN code ni Ms. Tell. So, we only have one try. So, one out of 10,000. Ayan, ito ang sagot. Okay? Sige, next. Ito. So, naiba na ulit ang ating padlock. So, tayo padlock na yun. So, finding the list. Okay, finding the list of code. So, this 5-digit padlock I bought from Shopee at 77 pesos is an example of a... Tingnan natin. Uh, I am finding the list. Okay? Now, if your answer is sample space, I would consider that as correct. Okay?
Okay? Because I am looking for the lid. Ayan. So, sample space actually ang sagot dyan. But then, if you answered any of these, okay? So, paano ko ba makahanap ang sample space? Okay? So, remember, in this five-digit padlock, if you would notice, no, kahit di ko sabihin, alam naman natin na hindi pwedeng mag-ulit. Kasi pagka napindot na natin, kunyari, itong one, hindi nyo na naman siya pwedeng pindutin ulit. Okay? So, five digits. So, one, two, three, four, five digits. And ang solution dito ay 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Okay? So, this is not a factorial function kasi hindi naman nagamit hanggang dulo. Hindi siya 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, this is an example of permutation. The formula is 10, P, 5. Okay? Because uh, 10, uh, 10 digits, 5 ang ating gagamitin. Hindi ito combination. Ah, wait lang. Pwede pala itong combination. Sorry, sorry. Let me just uh, erase this one. This is also possibly combination. Okay? Kasi it does not really matter, no? Kung alin ang mauna kong pindutin. Okay? But if you check only permutation, tatanggapin ko. Kung hindi nyo sinama si combination, okay lang. Okay? Uh, you might not be familiar with this key or this lock. Okay, this is not sum rule and this is product rule. Okay, so let me just pause this so I could manually check your answers. Ayan, so I have resumed this recording and I have checked your answers. Now, apparently, walang sumagot ng sample space. Pero well, sige, okay lang. Most of you answered permutation and product rule principle. May ilang sumagot ng factorial function, but remember, pagka factorial gagamitin lahat. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? May sumagot din ng combination, so tinamaan ko to. Okay? But if wala ang permutation, wala ang product rule, I'm sorry, that is wrong. Okay? Next. Ayan na nga. So, the question is, how many possible code combinations are there to this 5-digit padlock I bought from Shopee at 77 pesos? Now, walang kinalaman yung number na 77 dito. Uh, the only thing that we have to do is kagaya nga nung uh, pinakita ko kanina, no? So, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Okay? The answer is 30,240. No other answers. Okay? Okay, uh, by the way, if you also use... Uh, Ang tawag dito? Kundi ako nagkakamali, if you use the formula of combination, ah, uh, sige, let's try. Sa mga gumamit ng combination. Ito. Ang formula natin sa combination ay 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial, 5 factorial. Okay? So, just in case you use this one, ah, uh, let me just use my calculator. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 divided by... So, some of you might have answered 252. So, let me check that. Pwede naman yun. Okay? How is that? Okay, that's what, one of the possible answers is 252. Uh, let me just, again, uh, pause the recording so I can check uh, those who have answered 252. Ayan. So, anyways, mukhang walang sumagot ng 252. Okay. So, some of these locks kasi, again, kaya siya combination ay dahil hindi naman mahalaga kung alin ang una niyong pindutin. So, it's also a matter of combination. Now, some of these uh, require na may mauna na number. So, kaya siya permutation. No? Okay. So, I think, uh, second to the last question. Ah, hindi pala. Okay. Yan, deck of cards. Nagpalaki lang yung picture, no? In a deck of cards, what is the event of getting a spade? Okay? Now, kung tumingin kayo sa deck of cards ninyo, there are 52 cards, all in all. But since ang tanong ay, what is the event? Okay? I'm asking for the event. I'm asking for the list of all the spade cards. So, this is our correct answer. 
ace of spades, one of spades, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, king, until king of spades. Okay? Next, in a deck of cards, getting both king and queen when drawing one card. Yan is... O, oh, yan. So, meron ako dito ang iba't ibang sagot. Yan. So, king and queen. Wait lang. King and queen. Blue. There's the word king and queen. Both king and queen when drawing one card. Remember, when we are drawing one card, hindi natin pwedeng makuha pareho yan. At the same time, since isa lang ang kukunin natin. So, this is a mutually exclusive event. This has a probability of zero and this is an impossible event. Now, since ang sabi ko sa instructions ay check all the possible answers, so you should check all of these. Hindi pwedeng isa lang. Okay? Ito, last na pala. Okay, so meron sa akin nagtanong kung anong kinalaman nitong star na to. Okay, so when we are playing Wheel of Fortune or Spin the Wheel, ang arrow niya ay nandito lang sa taas. Okay? So, isa lang usually ang makukuha ng player. Okay? So, what is my chance of winning any amount of money in spinning the Wheel of Fortune twice? Okay? So, padaliin natin ang ating buhay. So, if you would be counting them, bilangin natin yung magkakapera tayo, ha? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, I have 21 chances of getting money out of ilan. So, i-add natin tong tatlo. 22, 23, 24 out of 24 uh, slices in the wheel. Okay? So, again, 21 dito yung may pera out of 24 total. Okay? Anong gagawin natin ngayon? So, remember, we should uh, put this in lowest term. So, lowest term natin to magiging 7 over 8. Okay? But since it says na twice ako mag-spin mag, mag, uh, ng wheel, so, this would be 7 over 8 times the same amount of chance na 7 over 8. Hindi naman sinabing bawal maulit yung nakuha ko na, di ba? So, 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times 8 is 64. So, this should be your answer. 49 over 64. Now, some of you might consider, ma'am, paano pagkahalimbawa nakuha ko dito, backdrop. So, ah, uh, that is possible, but that is for advanced uh, probability already, which I did not uh, discuss anymore. Dahil alam ko marami nang nahihirapan sa ating lesson. But that's it. That's the end of our discussion for the quizzes. Now, some reminders sa ating examination is to please do take it on time. Okay? I Yes, I if you remember, I do give an extension. So, wala na naman sanang nagpapaalam na, ma'am, pwede po bang, ano, mamaya ako sagutan, na parang hindi binabasa yung considerations na binibigay ko, no? So, I hope you would be developing that uh, attitude na magbasa kayo, no? Intindihin niyo mabuti, basahin niyo mabuti, kasi some of your questions are answerable in the instruction, diba? Uh, one of the reasons why I do not really reply to some of you is I want you to read it again. I don't want to spoon feed you guys because you are in college. You are being prepared for work. At sa trabaho, hindi kayo lagi yung tanong ng tanong sa boss when it's already there. Okay? Feel free to ask questions. Kaya meron tayong discussion, meron tayong synchronous meetings okay? for you to clarify things. But if you would be asking for instructions, I think your boss might be annoyed at you. Okay? Kasi, ayan na, sinabi ko na, di ba? Yung ganun, no? So, please, magbasa na magbasa. Huwag tatama rin. Try to understand what is on the instructions. Okay? Mga huling habili ni ma'am. <laughs> okay? Because, uh, wala na tayong meeting unless ipatawag ko kayo. Uh, again, 
no special projects. Whatever would appear in your grades, that's it. I think uh, I gave a lot of chances kasi last time talagang almost pag-giveaway ako ng grades, ng recitation points last meeting. Okay? And as I have mentioned, samantalahin ninyo yung chance. But only a few uh, actually took the chance. So, nasa inyo na talaga, no? Wala po akong pagbibigyan ng additional points kung ano lumabas, yun yun. Because I am, I am true to my grading system. Okay? Hindi ako nag-device ng grading system para naman, ip para ipasa ko lahat. At para bigyan ng points lahat for the sake na makapasa. No. Uh, I dislike the designer. I dislike what your other previous teachers are doing na pinapasa kayo just because naaawa sa inyo. Mas kawa, mas naaawa ako sa inyo kung ipapasa ko kayo dahil sa awa, no? Or dahil sa uh, mga MMK story ninyo, no? Gusto ko pumasa kayo because you deserve your passing grade. Okay? Uh, yeah, pa. Things on time, wala na pong hahabol sa exam. And since this is exam, Okay, this is scheduled. So, please, magawan sana ng paraan na makahanap ng maayos-ayos na internet connection. Wala po kayong ginagastos ni sing ko sa tuition fee nor miscellaneous. Okay? Uh, you should be paying at least 5,000 per semester. At least. No? Bukod pa dun ang pamasahe. Bukod pa dun yung mga pinapa-photocopy. Bukod pa dun yung kung ano-ano mang project na pinagagawa ninyo. So, you are not spending too much on those anymore. Okay? So, ang hiling ko sa inyo is really to invest. Wala po akong pagbibigyan dahil sa internet connection. Mamahina pong internet connection. Uh, since this is the finals, I would be telling you strictly, gawan nyo ng paraan. Okay? Hindi po tatanggapin yung mga reason na may trabaho. Hindi ko tatanggapin ang reason na may... Uh, Mahinang internet signal na nawalan ng kuryente. I will not be accepting those reasons because this is the final. This is the only time that I would be asking you and I will be being strict on your deadline. Dahil final. Okay? So, good luck on your final exam, not just in my class, but also for your other classes. Okay? I'll be seeing you next time. Pero sana hindi on the same subject. Okay? Bye!